What's going on YouTube? My Larks here today and we're back for another player review on YouTube, of course. Now today I've picked out the second card from the Road to the Final promo, this time Herzen Lozano. Now he's an absolute pace merchant for all those that have watched him over the years and obviously used him on FIFA. Had a, a good inform card as well, he's a nice upgrade as well. Obviously playing for Napoli, they've got Barcelona, so it's a bit hit and miss whether this card will get an upgrade or not. Now looking at the card, 59k, 5'9", high low work rates, again perfect for a winger to be fair. Four-star skill moves, three-star weak foot. Weak foot, it's not great, but it's usable. Obviously, a right winger as well. Let's have a look at attributes. Again, absolutely rapid, as we knew anyway. 96 acceleration, 97 sprint speed. The shooting is very good as well. 93 attack position. Uh, well, with, with the uh, chemistry strike that I've put on him, which is the finisher, I feel like this is what we needed to improve. Obviously, he's going to be in front of goal a lot, so we're going to want to try his finishing. Again, that's 99 finishing. Obviously, that's with the chemistry style, if not his 87. But all round, is decent enough anyway. 86 shot power. Again, I've improved that. 85 long shots. The volleys have been improved. Penalties have been improved. The passing, which is good as well. 84 vision. 83 crossing. It's got 84 short pass. 74 long pass. 82 curve. So maybe you could try dead out on him. Except it's entirely up to you. I just feel like for someone that's going to be playing an attacking position, I'd like to have their shooting very, very overpowered. Again, he's dribbling by putting that on it. Puts him up to 99 agility. Boosts his balance up. Boosts his dribbling overall. The only thing I think that might let this card down just a little bit is the composure. Because it's only at 80. You know, throw on goal. A bit of pressure on him. He might put it over the bar. He might put it wide. Obviously, we'll see what he's like in game. Physical stats, again, are good for a winger. 79 jumping. 89 stamina. 64 strength, which, again, wingers are not strong anyway. And he's got 75 aggression. Player trait, speed dribbler, outside of a foot shot. So again, if we can't seem to get it on that right foot, he can, at a different angle, use the outside of a foot shot, which again is good. So in-game, we are going to try Lozano on the right-hand side, and I'll try him on the left-hand side. Uh, these are really going to be the only two positions you can play in. Maybe some people might want to play him up front because he's pacey. I don't think that's going to be his best position because of his strength and obviously the freestyle weak foot. Again, and his composure as well. I wouldn't want to play him up front. So we'll try him on the left, we'll try him on the right. Let's take him into a game of rivals and let's see how we get on. That's oh, a great pass, Lozano. Again, there we go. We've won the ball high up. Lozano on the counter attack. He's not going to be able to be stopped. Great agility. He's got the quality. Oh, he's got a penalty. There's a foul. Got to let Lozano take it. Tucks it away. There you go. He seems to get back as well. Even though it's high low, he's still tracking back. Again, it's that running behind. There we go. So it's that pace that people are not going to be able to keep up with. There's not really an obvious option in the box. Can he pick someone out? No. Again, it's the little one-twos. It's pace-wise. Look, he just leaves Mendy behind. Needs to obviously mix up the game a little bit, but as you can see, he gets past people very easily with his pace. It's a great little ball. A great whip. Oh, great ball that was. Straight onto Rijkaard's head as well. What a ball, Lozano. Again, you just literally just need to set it back. And if he dives in like he does, this guy, Lozano's in. Quick turn away. Can I score from the angle? He can. Roof and net, Lozano. It's a ruthless finish. That's why I put the finisher on him to improve that shooting like he does. Wow, look at this. Gets underneath it, bang. Postage stamp. Again, you see he's got aggressive runs as well in behind, which is what you want, especially when you're when you're under under pressure. You can see Conti makes runs in behind. Lozano. Oh, he's at the post. Again, neat little bit of footwork. I just can't get a pass off that time.
Again, great balance from Lozano to keep his feet. Ooh. Should have finished, really. Again, look how quick and agile he is. Oh, he just not managed to finish. But again, his pace gets him away from people. Again, able to cut inside. He's just so agile. Oh. There you go. Look at the aggressive run in behind. Great turn. Can he finish? No. There he goes. Twisting Essien in and out. Look how pacey and quick. Look, you just can't keep with him. Strike from range. It's not bad. It's not bad. Again, look at Lozano's runs. He's always trying to make the run in behind. So with the finesse shots, you just not quite got the power and curve to really, really threaten. Again, in the positions, just not got the power or curve. Again, but this is his strength, so running down the wing, beating people, and just getting it to the main men like that. As we see from the footage, Lozano is an out-and-out -out winger. Pacey, got good shooting, got good crossing ability. Dribbling's absolutely insane as well. The way that he can just turn one way, turn another, and that's it. He's gone. That's it. You know, he, he's left the player for dead. His aggressive runs in behind as well were very good as well. That's what I was really impressed with. The amount of times that you'd be running with your midfield player and all of a sudden, that's it. Lozano's already on the run. You can put him in behind. He caused a lot of teams a lot of problems when I was using this card. So as you see, his finishing's good. I've managed to score a few goals with him. Probably could have had a few more. Hit the post, hit the bar. The one weakness is the finesses. Obviously, he is more or less better with, obviously, the, the straight shots or just the power shots across goal or near post. So the finesses, obviously, he's not really got the... He's only got 82 curve. His long shots are 85, which is good. So again, like I said, he, he hasn't really got the finesse. That's the only thing that lets him down. For me, this is a typical winger. You know, fast... Good shooting, got good crossing. Yeah, I think it would be a very, very good sub, being honest with you. I don't see a lot of people using this card, again, because of the links. He plays for Napoli. But, like I said, it's a great super sub to have. Bring on the, bring off the bench, running past people, aggressive runs in behind. It gets back as well, even though he's high-low. You know, you see a few times there, he's tracking his fallback, to be fair to him. So, let's see how we can get him in on 10 chem. Now, one of the future star cards, Elmas. This is quite a good card, obviously. It's more of a holding midfielder. But again, look at the dribbling. Look at the passing. Got good pace on it. Good physical stats as well. So, for me, if you put an anchor on this card, you've got a very, very good holding midfielder. This would get Lozano in on 10 chem. Another one, Luis Hernandez. An icon that people probably don't use a lot, but they should. 93 agility. Very good pace. Now, this is a very, very good card, to be honest with you. Again, the three-star weak foot is what kills it. A little bit like Lozano. Very good card. But the weak foot kills it. Again, as well, the passing's not too great. Obviously, 72 long pass, 75 curve. So, for me, that's what sort of lets it down. Another one that I haven't added in, Di Natale. Again, as we all know, will get Lozano on a strong link. I'm just sick of using him as an alternative because there isn't too many cards to get cards like Lozano in when they've got a, a nation like Mexico as there's not too many players. Now, back to Lozano. If I'm going to give him a rating out of 10, I'm going, to give him, I'm going to give him an 8. I think he's a good card. He's got good finishing. His dribbling is very good as well in terms of agility and balance. You know, like I said, he's able to get round people. He's quick. You know, he, he's a problem. He is a problem because of how quick he is and how, and how agile he is. But again, you know, you can't really use the finish shots with him too much. As you see, he's got no curve. He's not really got much about him in that sense. His shooting's obviously good. His passing's good. But then again, you know, his short pass and crossing's good. But weirdly, his long passing's not that good. That's why he didn't really see too many long passes in the game when I used him. Obviously, the freestyle weak foot, again, sort of lets him down. But for me, he's got everything to be one of the best super subs on the game. Good jumping, good stamina, aggressive runs in behind, which obviously, like I said, if you're getting pressed, it's the last 20 minutes you're winning, you need someone to just keep running behind. This is probably one of the cards you're going to want to use. He's lightning quick. He gets away from people. He, you know, I was playing against Flashback Varane, absolutely left him for dead. The guy had a shadow on him. 
in another game as well, he had Kimpembe. Again, Lozano just left him for dead. So it is a very good card. Is it good enough for to start with? For me, personally not. But for you, it depends on your team. If you've got a Serie A team, he link goes in straight on Team Chem, you've got a very good card. But for me, I would love to use this card as a super sub. I just feel like with all the attributes, Scott with the pace, good shooting, how agile he is to be able to turn out of tight spaces, for me, that would be what I'd be using this card for. So yeah, 8 out of 10, Lozano, what a card. But that is all for today's video. Thanks for tuning in. Like, subscribe, comment. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. If you are looking to make more coins on FIFA, looking for general FIFA chat, or you just want some advice on how to improve your team, whatever you want, join my Discord. The link is in the description below. It's free to join. Like I said, there's traders in there. There's people that are, are, are verified foot players, and they can help you with your teams. And like I said, there's people in there just, just vibing with each other, talking about FIFA, and just talking about what SBCs to do. So it's a load of fun. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time, 